Morning, everyone. Morning, 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 morning. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be the glory for the things he has done. If you know anybody who loves Hakainde Ichilemba, share this video. I have a very important message to share to God. Be the glory to God. Be the glory to God. Be the glory for the things He has done. Hi everyone, my name is Lillian Kutambo and um, some of you have never seen me come on this live stream to share a prayer or so, but some have seen me on my personal live stream. And uh, I want us to pray this morning specifically for President Haka Inde Ichilema specifically for him because um, one thing that many of you don't know especially on this political platform is that God shows me dreams and when he shows me those dreams my duty is to pray now for this one I cannot pray alone and that's why I've come so that we pray together I was literally on the floor when I woke up and I wept like a baby because of the dream that I had. I'll share a little bit about myself. In 2012, I had a dream about my father. And I remember waking up. And I, my, my father was fine. There was nothing wrong with him. And I remember telling my mom, calling my mom. Mom, I've had a dream. I was then in, in the UK. I've had a dream. Is that fine? She said, Bawi sobari apa? Beke nefi apa? Bawi sobari beke nefi apa? Bawi sobari beke nefi apa? Bawi sobari beke nefi apa? She said, Kere. Oh, my God. I said, Mami, I'm going to go to the house. 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 And graduation. And a few weeks later, my dad had a flu. From that flu, it never ended. Till on the 16th of January, 2013. That was his last breath. <laughs> I have never personally had an encounter with Haka in HLM. But I love the man. Because God directed me to him. In 2015, I had a dream that I met her church. I was not even in Zambia. I had met her church. And he said, hey, Lily. I said, uh-uh. How do you know me? At that time, I used to use Lillian. He said, who doesn't know Lily? Lily is huge in Zambia. Ah. And they said, come and see me in the office. I want to work with you. That was my dream. Immediately I woke up. I looked for any UPND member in the UK. And I said, look, there's a lady, Amanda Dimba. I called, I said, Amanda, this is a dream I had. I want to work with her church. That was 2050. I've never in my entire life joined any political party. And that's how I started believing in him. Believing in a man. Believing in a man. So God directed me that he would be president. 
That's why I joined the party. I didn't join last year. I joined the party in 2015. Now what I'm going to say is very sensitive. And I never in my entire life thought I would ever come on a platform like this to share this. I've never in my entire life cried for anybody the way I've cried from a dream. I woke up in prayer. I dreamt There were black cars, hair scars. They said the president was coming. And as he drove in, he was not alive. I saw a black coffin. And I said, God, I was expecting to see a white land cruiser with a man smiling. Everybody in the room collapsed. H H W A. H H W A. And we, we all began crying. We cried. I've never cried for anybody. From a dream like I have cried today. And I said, is this real? Is this real? We started asking questions. What happened? Where? How? Did that know I'm to you? It was real. And I woke up. And I started praying. Father, I come against the spirit of death upon Hakai in the Any plans of the enemy to assassinate his life be reduced in the mighty name of Jesus. Because in my dream I said, we were hoping you would be the president of this country. God reveals in order to redeem. If you are seated wherever you are, let us pray for Hakai Nechilem. I've never in my entire life come on media to say this. But we're going to pray. Father, we thank you for President Hakai Nechilem. That any plan of the enemy against his life, against his destiny, to terminate his destiny, we come against it in the mighty name of Jesus. We shall not Bury him before or even after the elections. He shall live low in the mighty name of Jesus. Any plans against his life. We pray for his soul. We pray for his destiny that Zambia deserves. Heavenly Father, we shall not mourn our president. But we shall celebrate with him in joy. As you give him the seat to be the president of Zambia. Father God, we come against any plans of the enemy, any form of weapon fashioned against his life. We rebuke it in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, you reveal in order to redeem. You reveal in order to redeem. You have shown me this dream because you want your people to pray. You need to pray. We need to be prayerful. It is not a small battle. It is not a small battle. And for God to show me this man from 2015, it means he is destined to be a leader. And for God to show me another dream today, it means there is a plan of the enemy at work. There is a plan of the enemy at work. May God protect her church. May God protect her church. Even in your churches. Even in your Bible studies. It is a plea. Because. I had never in my 
my entire life ever thought I would be pointing to say, those black cars, they are carrying this person. It was painful to watch. It was painful. The dream was very painful. Please, this is a prayer session. It's not anything to do with politics. It was a very painful dream. And that is what I wanted to share with everybody. And as I woke up, before I came here, I prayed and wept like a baby. Straight from my dream, I woke up praying. We cancel any spirit of death against Akain HLM. Let's not joke about these things. That is why I don't joke about my prayer life. Because if I joked, God would never show me certain things. God reveals in order. To redeem. So let us pray together. Today being a Sunday, it's very convenient. You won't believe this. I was planning to come online to talk about something different. I said, no, tomorrow morning I'm going to do a live stream before I go to radio. And I said, no, I'm going to talk about this, 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 this. It was just going to be something different. And the next thing, I have this dream which just shocked me. So we need to pray, pray and pray and pray. And thank God today is a Sunday. We will dedicate this day to Haka in the Hichlema and pray for him. And pray for him wherever you are. Because sometimes um, to send certain messages is a challenge. But to send a message here, to say, look, let's pray for this man. What I saw is not something that I would want to even hear tomorrow or the other day. What I saw was painful. I woke up in pain. I've never come on this live stream to share such. But as I was praying and praying, I said, no, let's pray together. Let's commit our president into his hearts. He cannot pray alone. He needs our prayer. He needs our support. I've just woken up straight from my dream and I was crying. It was painful. But the God we serve is mighty. The plans of the enemy is exposed. And when the plan of the enemy is exposed, what does it mean? It means God has revealed to say this is a plan. This is a vision that certain people are seeing to say, look, this first person will never be president. So how can we make sure he's never president? And they will make sure they do whatever they can to stop his destiny. But it is up to us to cry for him. It is up to us to pray for him. It is up to us to make sure that whatsoever the enemy is planning, it shall not come to pass. Whatever people are saying, it shall not come to pass. Whatever negative words people are saying, it shall not come to pass. Those people surrounding Haka in the Hichilema, we pray for protection. That no weapon fashion against those guys as well will prosper. We come against any plan of the enemy as well. To use those people in any way, we come against any evil plan of the enemy. Because if it's those people that are even close by, that people can attack. So when they attack them, they attack you as well. But we pray for mercy. We pray for mercy, O oh Lord, upon Haka in the Hichilema's life. We pray for mercy, 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 mercy upon President Haka in the Hichilema's life. I woke up and I said, Haka in the Hichilema, it shall never happen to you. I shall never be a witness in any time soon. In your hundred, no problem. But not now. You have a mantle that God has given you, which you need to carry on. And that's to make sure the people of Zambia are liberated. Let's continue to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for your presence, O oh Lord. And for the people that have joined me to pray. Nabose mamenevani joi na kutiti pempelele he church. Mwele sa 
Tuwaisafe kuli matunelo mba mwishi na rienu. Tata. Takwabo wabanga imwe. Mwele satu wa ashishi mwoneshi na rienu. Na kutasha. Pachinota cho mwampela mwele sa. Ukutila tupepele lewa kateka baleisa mwele sa ba HH. Mwele sa tuwa pepa mwele sa kutumu ba pokelele mwele sa mumu pashi wenu mwele sa tuwa pepa mwele sa kutumu ba chingi nile mwele sa Na shonse miyote ka shonse shobale mwomfi Na mwose mwale mwoma na wenu Tuwa pepe na wakashi wabo mwele sa Mwa kosele she mwele sa mba pepo na wenu Ukutina mwele sa kose kwa abalu meba wale ya mwele sa tuwa pepa fekuti mwele sa Mwa chingi nile mwele sa Tata na mishinshi mwona. Tuwa mitote la mwelesa patu. Ichichiloto cha mwampela mwelesa. Cha kutilati. Tuishiwe ama panga ya mwuluwani. Batu mwasoko la mwelesa. Sana tufuweba na wenu. Fuweba mishima. Fuweba tapeshi na rienu. Tupepe mwishina ya wa Yesu Christu. Ichewa chilandati. Nga tuwa itapeshi na rienu. Mula tuasuka Bible itilati Nga tulia Aba tuwa venga vale pepa Babili batatu Mula bapo mwene sa tulia vengi sana Fue vale pepa Mwene sa Bible itilati Umuanoli wansu wa iteshi Nariandua lana tumwele sa Nefo yechi Mula mupela mwele sa Ukukonka ne chisumino chakwe Muchisumino chandina Aba tuwa vale tamba Tule chete kena kutina mwalaba chita protect mahaka inde ichi lema Mwalaba chingi nila no mupashi wenu Mwalaba chingi nila mwelesa Pantu tata Ama pange ya mulwani tuwa ya kana mwishi na yobo yesu Na mashiwe ya bantu waleti na taka teke po tata Tuwa ya toba mwishi na yobo yesu Tata mwali tupelo mtu kwa te haka inde ichi lema Uwa ipela Ule fweo kuteke chalo cha zambi Tata tuwa pepe kutila mwelesa mungesa pakati ya mwewe wakwe Na fiyose fweo mwade ale panga mwelesa tafiaka chitike mwishi na yaba Yesu Christu Tata lunolu chelo na pepe kutila na totela Na totela mwelesa tuwa totela Paku tupele chiloto mwelesa echi Ukutila tupepele papa chiloto echi Tato kufumele elo Na chote kena kutile chumande tele mpepi na baka inde Kuwa itasesa wabo Tata na ipela mwelesa Ukufumele elo Shakula fume panga ande paka na pepe na baka inde ichi lema Mwelesa karaba pepe na lao Diyosefe mwetata Na chote na mwelesa Chachifina It was too heavy It was too heavy It was too heavy. And that is why it is not good to mix darkness with light. If you are a child of God that believes in God, whilst others go and collect charms, to say when they collect charms, they'll be in this position. I refuse to do that. Because God is the one who sent me. God is the one who's even made a provision for me to be in Zambia. And God is the one who said, look, go this direction. There can be distractions left, right, and center. But I know every battle I have faced is because of where God is taking me. And every battle that Haka in the H Lama is facing now is because of where God is taking him. And that's why there is confusion left, right, and center. You never know until we say, but we cannot come and start saying this is a confusion here and there. But all those confusions now make sense because of the plans of the enemy against our lives. Father, we thank you for this prayer. We declare mercy upon her church. We declare mercy upon her church. Father, we pray. You know, one thing I need to share about, that is why we need to differentiate. We need to differentiate between prayer, prayer life, and whatever is happening. It's not everything. It's not everything.
that we need to always talk about politics. We are human beings. This is flesh. This is a soul inside of me. And with the way God has planned our lives, we need to drink, we need to sleep, we need to eat. We are flesh. So politics aside, when we put God first in everything we do, it shall come to pass. Because the people of Zambia have cried. The people of Zambia have mourned. But the morning that I saw, the people of Zambia, as long as we have prayed, shall never experience in the mighty name of Jesus. The people of Zambia shall not see any black cars lined up. Shall not see flowers being put somewhere. Until, even after many years, this person has fulfilled the destiny of our country, Zambia. And that was the importance of this prayer. As you have known me for many years, I have never come on a live stream to share such in my entire life. But I've shared of how I came to join UPND in 2015 when God showed me a dream. That is why it's good to surround yourself with people who are prayerful. It's good to always have people that believe in the faith of God. Don't worry whatever people will say and mock about anything we do. Remember, some people believe in charms. Remember, some people go to shrines. Remember, they've been told, as long as you come to the shrine and put this money and put this money, don't worry, you will succeed. But we are saying, Father, we are crying to you, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Meshach, God of Abednego, we are crying to you. The same God that redeemed the people of Israel. The same people that were, the way God had redeemed them from the time when they were suffering for many years. And Moses took them and they were wondering, where are we going? Until they saw the Red Sea and they were wondering, how are we going to pass on this Red Sea? And God whispered to Moses. The rod you are holding, place it on the water. And a way was paved. Because Moses had faith, because Moses believed, because Moses knew that God would never ever tell him things that would never come to pass. He took that in faith and placed it on the Red Sea. And the way was perfect. As they kept on going, they kept on going. They saw soldiers coming behind. And they thought, ah, what is happening? Are we going to go through? The people are coming. As they were coming, the path was closing. The path was closing. The word of God says, call upon my name and I will answer. Call upon my name and I will answer. And the reason why I have come to share is because it is done when we pray. As long as we pray together and you keep it in your mind to say, ah, this is the plan of the enemy. You will also pray because you are looking for liberation. That's all I wanted to say to you folks. That at the end of the day, in my entire life, in my entire life, I've never come on this live stream or any broadcast, especially this page. This page, I don't even come here to pray. But I say it because what, what I have seen is something to do with a figure that needs many voices speaking positivity, speaking prayer. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus. For the plans of the enemy have been exposed. Hakaine Ichilema will be the president of Zambia. In whatever time God has planned it, it shall happen. But what we need as well as Zambian people is to pray for his life. When uh, the late President Chiluba declared Zambia as a Christian nation, he declared it so that we should believe in God. We should have the faith of God. 
But what I see around is many gambling centers. Things like gambling. There are things to distract you. There are things, instead of you putting your money in the right places, you are putting your money, 2,000, 5,000 to gamble, and then you come back, you have nothing. What I see is many casinos. A Christian nation should be focused on bringing right morals for the people of Zambia. But all that, all that culture has been lost. And that's why when 18th of October comes, we are wondering, are we really praying for the nation of Zambia? Or is this another day to spend more taxpayers' money? We shouldn't take God casually or oh, as a joke. President of Tanzania, Mago Fuli, he has left a legacy in Tanzania. And his reason of liberating the people of Tanzania was because of his faith as a Christian. He did a lot for Tanzania within the short six years of being president of Tanzania. It is possible. Tanzania is not in America, it's in Africa. But Magufuli made sure that the people of Tanzania have something to remember. Ija Airport ni Magufuli anapanga. Ija Neke ni Magufuli analeta. Ija Hospital ni Magufuli analeta. Because the position of a leader presidency is not for you to be a dictator or to tell people there is nothing you can do. People like me know. You are there as a leader to work with people according to their cries and their needs and to bring unity and not disunity what i see in zambia now is disunity there is this camp red camp there is green camp there is a blue camp there is a yellow camp there's all these camps a spirit of division a divided nation which we never had many years ago and what happens when there's a divided nation? There is anger. There is anger in the souls of people. They can do anything, anything to destroy the other camp. This camp, that camp. And that's why each time we see green camp, yellow camp, red camp, meet, they clash. This was not the Zambia that we had. Therefore, we need to continue praying. We need to continue praying for our nation, Zambia. What is happening is not what a Christian nation looks like. What is happening is not the declaration that was made by Frederick Chiluba. I'm sure Frederick Chiluba, he is sad even in his grave because he dedicated Zambia to God and he said any plan of the enemy against our nation father we pray any nation any country has spirits any nation has spirits any nation has spirits any nation has spirits and those spirits were invoked by President Titus Chulua when he, when he laid a, a blessing upon Zambia. And the only way to divide a nation that has said we are a Christian nation, we believe in God, we want to serve God in this nation, is by doing what? Is by doing what? By dividing a nation. There is no way I can go to town wearing this chitenge. I will be dead. That is not the Zambia we knew. So this is what I just wanted to say. It's not about, we're not talking about politics. We're talking about prayer. We need to pray for our president.
So thank you so much. Let's pray for President Haka in the Hichilema. As long as God has exposed any plan of the enemy, it shall not prosper. As long as we are on this land, Zambia, it shall not prosper. As long as we are crying in our hearts of the discrimination that we are facing in our own land, it shall not happen in the mighty name of Jesus. God, see us, your children. Father God, my ending prayer is that Hakainde Ichilema will be protected by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Mr. Hakainde Ichilema will be protected by the blood of Jesus. We cover his house by the blood of Jesus. We cover his footsteps by the blood of Jesus. We cover his soul by the blood of Jesus. No weapon fashioned against his life will prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus, it is done. Thank you so much. God is faithful. God is mighty. And that is why I am, I am blessed as a child of God for many years. That God has used me to share dreams. That God has revealed so many things in dreams. And when I dream and I pray about these things, uh, it never happens because we've spoken. We've spoken, we've prayed. We've prayed, we've prayed. Aloba John says we pray for Uganda too. John City says continue worshiping God. God bless you and the nation. Thank you so much. Felix says God protect the leadership of the European in Jesus Christ. Thank you. So we thank you, um, you know, everybody that has joined us on this live stream. Many of you have joined us for us to pray for President Haka in the Hichilema. And this is what I wanted to do immediately. I, I prayed and prayed and prayed and I said, Lord, let's pray together. Because, you know, by the time you start making phone calls, phone call, phone call, it's a waste of time. The Spirit of God is here now. So we have to pray immediately. So that we break and bind the plans of the enemy. For as long as we have a prayer to God, whatever we pray, it is done indeed. Whatever we have declared, it is done indeed. Whatever we have cried for, it is done indeed. And now it is time to celebrate victory. To say, Hakaine Hichilema, God loves you. God loves this man. Because I first knew him through a dream. I'd never seen an image of him in my entire life. I had to Google. I just used to hear HH. 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 I said, ah, who is the same HH? And then I went to Google and I said, oh, this is Hakai in the H lemma. Okay. That is how I knew him. And now God is showing me this dream and said, ah, no, 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 no. When you, when you showed me the dream, he was the president. It shall not come to pass. Any weapon fashioned against her church shall not come to pass. Thank you so much. I love you with the love of Lord. Let's just sing before we close. Come palamine le sawandi. Come palamine. Le sandi napumuchi lo tontila kampala mire namu mwe adintila kampala mire mwe le sa kampala mire ka Pala mine mwele sawandi. Kampala mine kampala mine mwele sawandi. Abena kristu iaya wale tusungi na umweo. Abena kristu iaya mwale tusungi na umweo. Na wahe chechi haya mwali wa sungi na umweo. Na wahe chechi haya mwali wa sungi na umweo. Thank you so much for everybody that joined me on this live stream. Lesa mukulu, lesa ewe tupepa, alikuatisha amaka, aya kuchinja, 
yonse ama pange aya munuani ule wanso ole chete kila ta, fika chitika tafia kachitike pantu lesa na tuweba ukutida tuwamba ukumuchingi nila intu ngulushi yesu ni intu ngulushi yesu ni wakateka wesu wakama wakateka wesu na pepa mwishina ba yesu na tupepa lelo bye na limite mwabonse mwishina ya ba yesu kristu lesa muka lamba god is bigger god is great and we celebrate victory because all their plans exposed hallelujah take care